today I will be telling you the advantages and disadvantages of industries. But before telling the advantages and disadvantages of industries, let me tell you what this industrial revolution means. It means that people are starting to use different types of machines to make different types of goods. But before the industrial revolution, we had no machines. So our only choice was to have manpower things like this. In this, I'll show you how it works. In this part, you uh, there's a handle, it leads to here. In this handle, you will turn like this, the threads will combine, then it will make a cloth. But it used to take a lot of time. But after this year, revolution in England, they made a steam powered engine machine that can make much more fast clothes than this. Now let me tell you some of the types of industries. Textile industry. In that industry, they will make different types of cloths. Electronic industry. In that industry, they will make different types of electronic things. Uh, iron steel industry. In that industry, they will make all sorts of iron steel goods. Glass, plate and everything. Entrepreneur industry. In that industry, all sorts of vehicles are created in those types of industries. Now let me tell you the advantages of industries. Employment. After the industrial revolution, a lot of industries started. And those industries have a lot of machines. And those machines need many employees to operate on them. That's why employment increases. Economy. Industries have machines. And machines can produce a lot of goods. And the extra productions are exported to other countries. For example, India is famous in textile industry. So India will export the extra productions of textiles to the other countries. That's why economy increases. Affordable. Before the industrial revolution, it took a lot of time to make different types of goods. So it had to be very expensive because it had a lot of time to work and effort and all that. Machines. After industrial revolution made it easier and did the employees jobs a little bit so the employees had to get paid a little bit less. And that's how things become affordable in markets, shops and all that. Fast production. Industries have machines and one machine is around 50 manpower. That's how fast productions are done in industries. Disadvantages of industries. Air pollution. As I have told you, those different types of industries, right? And those different types of industries can create different types of bad gas and release it into the air. And as you can clearly see in this pie diagram, air pollution caused by the industries is 52%, which is much more higher than the other sectors. Water pollution. In every industry, in the process or after the process, the wastage of the industry uh, goes into a pipe attached to the industry, into the water. And sometimes people will drink water, swim in water, even this fish swimmed in water and got uh, polluted inside. The water got polluted, then it gave the fish disease, then the fish died because of the disease. Sound pollution. Sometimes in industries, uh, machines can make different types of loud sounds. Sometimes, but not many times. They can make different types of loud sounds that can damage our ears very badly. All these pollutions can may cause different types of gases from here or even make us dead. The diseases like headache, cancer, nausea and many more. And another disadvantage is child labor. Sometimes uh, industrialists will become greedy. They take some poor people's childs and take them for work as laborers. And now that's against the law. In uh, 2000s and all that years, it's against the law now. 
So the industrialists who do that will get arrested by the police. Let me tell you the conclusion now. If we, if proper environmental measures are taken, industries are boomed. Thank you.